Hey guys, how you doing? Jack Benahan here from jackbenahan.com. Controversial topic. I know people are going to get mad and they're going to disagree with what I say here uh, or with what I don't say, but I'm just going to try to keep it political right in the middle here. Uh, but I'm going to give you my honest opinion. So my wife and I went to go see this movie, Wolf of Wall Street, uh, uh, two weeks ago. I never really knew the story before, to be honest. I never heard of the book. I never read the book. I know some people have. Maybe I'm out to lunch. I don't know. But I have to admit, I was moved. I thought the movie was pretty incredible. Uh, I thought that, obviously, uh, the, the whole production was phenomenal. I didn't want to leave my chair. And uh, I don't think I got up once during the entire movie. Now, I will admit, walking out of that movie, I walked out of there a little bit sad and kind of disturbed by what I saw, what I witnessed. Uh, you know, you're looking at a guy who basically had everything you could imagine, a, a wonderful family, a beautiful wife, uh, he had pretty much, you know, the dream life, anything you could imagine, and yet, uh, you know, he plagued with drug addiction and sex addiction and uh, greed, basically, he, he kind of fantasized his life into this movie, and, and he says it, uh, you know, he, he wanted to become like this Gordon Gecko, uh, like a greed hunter almost, right? So, you know, I'm sure a lot of people walked out of that movie and were just kind of offended by what they saw. But, you know, what I did was I got home and I was like, wow, like, is this, is this true? Like, what could this guy be doing today? I mean, you, we could say all the negative stuff we want about the guy, uh, that he's a criminal and all that. And he made some bad decisions and, you know, uh, but you have to respect the fact that this guy had like an unwavering belief in himself. And he had vision, you know, something that a lot of us lack. Uh, he had real vision of where he wanted to go. And uh, I think obviously the drugs uh, and everything else got in the way. So anyway, I got home. I uh, YouTubed uh, videos on him just to see and Googled him to see what he was up to. And it was quite astonishing. I mean, uh, Jordan Balfour, uh, obviously he's a real person. And uh, he did some time and he got out of jail and he now, uh, I, I, I'm, I mean obviously I can't verify this, but he's basically drug free and uh, he's using his gift for good. He's teaching entrepreneurs and business people how to sell, which is what he always did anyway, but he did it in kind of a more of a, a shady manner. Um, obviously, you know, committing criminal acts at the time, but you have to respect the guy. You know, even most people after that happened, going to jail, being addicted to drugs, losing your wife, losing everything you had, your respect, your power, your firm, all your friends basically. I don't know what I would do in his situation. I, I would probably move away, hide out, take some menial job. I don't know. I don't know what I would do. But think about what he did. And, and this is something to be admired. I don't care. I mean, he turned his life around. He got out of jail. He wrote a best-selling book. That book obviously did some, he did some convincing to get not only, I would definitely say the best actor, Leo DiCaprio, but probably the best director in the world, Martin Scorsese, to create this, you know, it's a blockbuster movie. And this just shows you the belief that he has in himself and so I started kind of watching some of his latest videos and he's a very inspiring guy uh, it looks like he did change his life around and so I'm very happy about that that sounds great and it does sound like I mean I, I could be wrong because this is what I'm reading but it sounds like he's using a lot of that money to pay back the people that he ripped off which is also a good thing and, and he's a pretty open guy I mean you can see why people are kind of attracted to him uh, he doesn't really hide anything and he comes out and he and he just tells you he was out of control and you know people do make mistakes um, should he have gotten more time in jail I, I mean I'm not a judge I don't know the one thing I, I got from this is that you know um, unwavering belief and vision it can go two ways you know you can use it for good or you can use it for bad uh, if you believe in yourself and uh, if you uh, you know are using that for the general good you can see what can happen dreams can come true and the right kind of dream so 
Anyway, I thought I would give you that review. I just found it, uh, I found the movie to be pretty incredible. Um, the story was, was uh, absolutely insane. And uh, the emotions that you felt, you know, going through that movie were just like, wow. Like, how out of control was this guy? And like, how did he get away with it for so long? And, uh, but on, on you know, I, I think it would be pretty cool if they kind of showed what happened after. I mean, look, the guy changed his life. He turned his whole life around. And uh, he really is helping people now. And he's offering a lot of uh, free value. If you go onto YouTube and, and stuff, he's offering, you know, salespeople and entrepreneurs a lot of value, uh, you know, absolutely free. I mean, yeah, you can purchase his program, but I, I think he, I think the fact that he turned his life around is, is quite inspiring. Obviously, he did make some major mistakes, uh, you know, no different than some of the companies that we hear about uh, still getting away with it. Uh, he just happened to get caught. So uh, anyway, thought that added value to your day. It just basically, you know, you got to create that belief in yourself. You have to have a vision and you have to take action and constantly go for that. So talk to you soon. Uh, if you uh, enjoy the value that I'm giving you, uh, and uh, if you like my videos and if you're in sales or if you're a network marketer uh, and you're looking uh, to uh, expand your business and, 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 and make it better and get online and offline marketing tips, feel free to download my absolutely free ebook called Everybody Loves a Comeback. It's my story uh, and I give you a whole bunch of tips where I hit a seven figure profit and went into corporate bankruptcy. So I, I, I haven't, uh, I didn't, I didn't hit the the low valley uh, like Jordan Belfort did, but but I've been down there too. And uh, I think you'll enjoy the story, and I think you'll get a lot of value from the tip. So thanks for joining me today. Talk to you soon. Looking forward to your comments.